Hi, everybody. So uh, I've been trying to get my microphone uh, to work for the last uh, like 23 minutes or so. Uh, it must be a Twitch related issue because I'm not having any problems using it right now on Zoom. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead uh, and record some of the things that I was going to say to you, the uh, feedback from last week, the reminders and announcements. Um, I'll give you the Twitch extra credit and then uh, I'll be posting this on our website so that you can watch it uh, later. I'm sorry for the confusion and the delay. Uh, Apparently, uh, you know, that's just going to be the way the week goes for me. So these are uh, 40 problems now. Now that I'm 40, I'm having technology issues, right? Self-fulfilling uh, prophecy. But uh, anyway, let me go through some of the stuff I was going to cover. Uh, you obviously can't ask me questions live, which is a little bit of a shame, uh, but you can definitely email me if you have questions. Uh, and I will see if I can find some time, uh, maybe tomorrow or Sunday, uh, to try again. Maybe Twitch will be working a little bit better. So anyway, we are in week number three at this point, uh, which is really hard to believe. We have this weekend, next week, and then we're done. And this week we're Friday, so uh, we don't have a whole lot of, of time left. Uh, but I just want to go over a couple of uh, pieces of feedback from last week and then some reminders for this week. So last week we had exam number two uh, and discussions three and four. So uh, discussion three had to do with dreams. I enjoyed reading about your dreams. Thankfully, none of you talked about anything related to me, which is great. Uh, but overall, I really enjoyed your um, opinions and thoughts and theories on where dreams come from. The biggest uh, reason people lost points was not connecting it to the theories enough. So not giving me enough information to show that you understood the dream theories, but overall really well done, uh, kind of all over the board when it comes to uh, what you all think dreams mean and where they come from. Um, discussion four had to do quite a bit uh, with memory. So uh, I enjoyed your tips and strategies for memory, uh, your stories that a lot of you came up to remember that uh, 28 digit sequence of letters and numbers. Um, so really nicely done on that. Biggest reason people lost points, uh, not um, kind of uh, elaborating a little bit, giving me enough information. Uh, a lot of you I wrote, you know, I wanted a little bit more, a lot of uh, people getting like 11 or 12 points out of 13. So for the most part, really well done. The discussions are looking great. I feel like you're getting better and better at uh, kind of understanding what I'm looking for from you. As far as exam number two, some statistics to help you out. And it seemed like there was a, a little bit of an issue with um, the grading on the ebook site and that's all been ironed out and fixed. Um, so if you saw your score uh, change a little bit, um, I went back and double checked them all just to make sure. Uh, but there was an issue, I guess, on one of the matching questions not being set correctly. So I'm sorry um, that that maybe threw a few of you off, but uh, I think it's all been ironed out and fixed at this point. Uh, for exam number two, the average test time was 63 minutes, so just a little bit longer uh, than the first exam, which I, I tend to see on this um, test. Uh, you know, sometimes the unit with memory and um, learning is a little bit more challenging, so it can take a little bit more time. Uh, the average exam score was 89. Uh, and what this tells me, again, is a lot of you were very well prepared. There were quite a few A's, quite a few B's, a few people maybe scoring a little lower uh, than you might have liked. But overall, I was very happy with the exam scores that I saw with the discussions from last week. Things have been looking really good, and uh, we are definitely past the halfway point. We are uh, deep into week number three at this point. So just a few reminders for you for this week. Uh, if you click on week number three, and we kind of follow our normal format. So for week three, you have chapter nine, 10, 11, and 12. So four chapters like usual. So um, there's a lecture for each one of them and then a lecture video that I made for each one of them. So make sure that you're watching those lecture videos uh, that you're reading through the materials that I have for you. Of course, reading the ebook on the ebook page. So all of those things like usual. There are two discussions, so discussion number five and six. So if we click on this for just a moment here, discussion number five uh, is looking at emotions. And a couple of you asked in the chat 
uh, about which one is true, I will let you know at the end of the week. Uh, but you're looking here at um, how could you explain uh, an emotional reaction from the three different theories that I talked about in the lecture, and then looking a little bit at how to spot a lie. And I, I made a video for you with two truths and a lie, just for fun, it's just for bonus, if you would like to do it, uh, try to figure out which one is the lie um, and which two are the truths. So I'm an awful liar, <laughs> like I'm smiling just thinking about the fact that I had to lie. Uh, but that is discussion number five. And then discussion number six uh, that you'll be working on has to do with uh, human development. So this one has to do with some songs about being a teenager and then also some greeting cards and the messages and stereotypes that you might find in those related to aging. And I made this note in the video, but you don't have to go out to find greeting cards. You can also find them online. That's completely fine. Uh, but this one is looking at a little bit at some of the messages related to aging and then some of the things that uh, you might expect uh, to be going through as a teenager. So make sure you do those two discussions uh, like you would normally. And then we have exam number three. Exam number three is on the ebook page like usual. If you click here, um, it'll remind you of that. You can go to the ebook site. Um, don't forget to use the study guide as your friend. Anything that is on the study guide will be on the exam. If it's not on here, you don't need to know it. So exam number three is on chapter nine, 10, 11 and 12. So on uh, motivation, emotion, human development, and personality. So make sure that you have reviewed um, everything that's on here. Again, if it were me, I would write or type it all up and have it in front of me, but you are more than welcome um, to kind of make up your mind. By now you've taken two exams, so hopefully you have a good idea of how much you need to prepare uh, and study. Again, most of you are doing really well on these tests, so that makes me very happy to see. So make sure that you are taking exam number three before Sunday night. A lot of you have taken it already since it's Friday afternoon. Um, and then the extra credit, which I'll give you in, in just a moment. I also want to remind you that I opened up week number four on Monday. So week number four is a little bit shorter than usual. And I don't know why the college does this. I have no control over it. Uh, but week number four in our class officially ends on Friday, June 18th. So the class officially ends Friday, June 18th at 1159 PM. And I'll, I'll talk quite a bit about this next time when hopefully I have the ability for you to hear me. Uh, but all of the materials for next week are open if you wanted to work ahead. In theory, you could finish everything up. I will do one last Twitch live stream next week um, in, order to, uh, in order to try and uh, give you those reminders and give you one more extra credit opportunity. But you do have access to everything in week four and it's a very usual week except for one thing. So you will have four chapters two discussions, an exam, and then there's a closing assignment. So next week when we meet on Twitch, or, or if I'm able to get on there, maybe later today or tomorrow, um, I will go over the closing assignment so you know what to expect. But that is on um, Twitch. So please, or, I'm sorry, on Canvas here already if you would like to work ahead um, and it's available for you now. So just again to remind you, the class ends next Friday, the 18th, at 11.59 p.m. So make sure everything is completed. Really, really difficult for me to open anything up for you or give you any extensions. So please try to plan ahead. Um, I've given you everything early so that you have plenty of time to work on it in advance. So um, the one last thing that I would like to give you um, is the extra credit for this week. And I will try and type it out for you um, on the page on Canvas so that you um, have it written down if you need it. But what I'd like you to think about um, relates to the unit on motivation. So what is the difference between intrinsic and extrinsic motivation? And give a specific example for each. So what is the difference between intrinsic and extrinsic motivation? And give a specific example for each. And you can find that information in the lecture um, and also um, in the textbook and in the lecture content that's up here. When you're ready to answer that, you go to Twitch extra credit number three and click there. And then up here at the top, you'll hit start assignment. And now since we had some issues with Twitch, um, if you didn't get your name into the chat, um, that's okay. I will still give you credit for the week. I won't hold that against you, uh, but you'll just type your response, type your response down here. 
and then you can go ahead and hit submit assignment. So for this one week, if you weren't able to um, to make it live, that's so exciting, the confetti everywhere. <laughs> uh, if you weren't able to make it live, that's okay. Uh, we will uh, go ahead and give you, I will go ahead and give you credit for it anyway. So um, I'm sorry this was a little short and this was a little, um, you know, haphazard. Hopefully the audio for this is working fine. It says everything's good on my end. So I'm going to wrap this up and post it so you can watch it. Uh, and then I will continue to work with uh, my Twitch software here and see if I can get that, get that going. So in case I don't see you again this week, have a wonderful week. I uh, hope you all are doing well and hanging in there as the weather starts to get hot. Um, and I will hopefully see you all very, very soon. Sorry again for um, the technical difficulties. It's inevitable, but I can't stand it. Uh, I want everything to run so smoothly. So I'm so sorry uh, that it was a little choppy today, but hopefully this helps and you are able to keep moving forward. So feel free to email me if you have questions and uh, I'm gonna go see if I can get Twitch to work. So, all right, have a great day. I'll see you all soon.